and the Philippines dental examination chairs were donated to a free clinic. Cixi volunteer Ou Xinran, suffering from brain deterioration, visits Master Zheng Yan. Welcome to Diet Headlines, I'm Joyce Ho, thank you for joining us. In the Philippines, dental care is expensive for most and has been even more difficult to receive treatments due to COVID-19. In order to help the locals, Marikina City's vice mayor and dentists work together to open a free dental clinic. Recently, an entrepreneur collaborated with Siti and donated dental examination chairs to the clinic, improving their treatment quality. During the pandemic, Nestor lost his job and faced teeth pain. Gladly, the town hall hosted a free dental clinic, allowing him to avoid the expensive fees of seeking dental care. Thank you, Marami Salamat. During the pandemic, I don't have work, and I don't have money to go to a dentist. Gladly there is this free dental clinic. My problem is solved and I no longer feel pain. In order to serve citizens, Marikina City's vice mayor and dentist collaborated, opening a free dental clinic near the town hall. A limit to funding caused the organizers unable to pay for medical chairs. Thus, a local Su factory owner worked with Cixi to donate for a good cause. First uh, two months of uh, giving uh, two extraction for free, uh, we have an improvised chair, uh, one chair plus one and a pillow. So with this donation, the patients will be more comfortable. Seeing that there is a need from the city government, in the past, they used normal chairs, and it's tough to use those when doctors perform treatment. So today, we donated professional dental engines. Dental chair. We're thankful to Zhiji for their love and care to dental patients. Through your donations, not only patients are benefited, doctors are benefited because it's easier to perform treatment. The city government's call for help, along with the assistance from enterprises and local groups, has allowed citizens in Marikina City to receive proper dental care. In normal Philippines, city volunteers hosted a free eye clinic to remove cataracts for patients in need. A young volunteer who had received caregiver's training in Taiwan was finally able to contribute in her hometown. There are 20 million people around the world who are blind due to cataracts. If there is no Zhiji, I will have no chance to see clearly again or even go blind. Although they can't see volunteers' face clearly, they hear clearly what they are looking forward to. Eye surgery is very expensive. Zhiji is here to help unfortunate people like me for free. After getting the notice, the patient tried every means to come to the Great Love Village for pre surgery checkups. Volunteers accompany him all the way. Donna, who was trained as a caregiver in Taiwan, finally had the opportunity to give. I was very moved because I can meet many people and help them with their physical problems. The doctors providing medical consultation are a couple. The two contributed together again and invited the clinic staff to help. We are very happy to help others and hope to help more people in the future. We also hope to take more missions of this kind in the future. The once a year free clinic did not suspend it amid the pandemic, as volunteers knew how much the patients are expecting to restore their visions. In Yunling, Taiwan, Huang Hongqi does not only manage a baby product store, but also frequently participate in volunteering works such as firefighting and winter distributions. Recently, due to the market crash on vegetable prices, he went on to purchase vegetables in bulk and provided them to people in need. On the ground, there are four blue baskets of broccoli, wax gourd and pumpkin. All were purchased by store owner Huang Hongqi from farmers. People passing by the store may take it, but after we give it away, there will be none left.
Besides giving away vegetables, the baby product store owner also gives away baby formula on a yearly basis. On a yearly basis, Huang Hongqing gives away thousands of baby formula, and this has continued for 13 years. His selfless giving is all because of his tough childhood. In the past, I ate dried sweet potato. I even ate it with cows. Inside the food, there were bugs and gravel. Life was tough. So now I learned to cherish my achievement in life and try my best to help those in need. While the father practices good deeds, the son observes him and accumulates the seeds of kindness. I want to help others and continue the trend of doing good deeds. Carrying the heart of kindness and not asking for anything in return, the father has taught his son a valuable life lesson. Two housewives in Hualien who are also smallholder farmers have been selling crops to donate to Suji for a long time. Upon learning Suji's support of Taiwan's vaccination program, they promoted their homegrown gravas and organic vegetables through local shops and social media to gather more support for the fight against COVID-19. This green orchard represents the joy of a bumper harvest. I pick grava by myself. I like to pick it. I just told my brother, let's plant it. It turns out that grava is so hard to raise as you can't spray pesticides and it attracts many insects. Housewife Zhang Yongzhe sent her own guava to the store. This time was a special charity sale which invited more people to join the grand event. In addition to the grava donation, there is also chili sauce and dried tofu. As long as Sister Yongjie's name is on the product, every time it will be sold out. Another retired person, Ms. Yang, originally for the pleasure and health of her family, grew her own vegetables. In response to Zhiji's vaccine fund, she decided to sell her organic vegetables through an online group. Should I give or donate? Selling vegetables for food involves a lot of labor, but it allows everyone to eat healthy. And it can also encourage people to donate and also allow them to gain merit. Our strength may be very small, but each of us can do it. And together, they can be a big force, so we must support this kind of loving action. Activities such as this help everyone come together from different corners of the island for a common purpose. People who want to gain muscle mass and reduce body fat pay special attention to protein intake. Many people may not know that vegetables such as broccoli, sweet potato leaves and zucchinis are high-protein vegetables. Vegetarians or weight trainers can supplement proteins through vegetable consumption. Exercise is good for health and body shape. Mr. He does weight training three times a week for one hour regularly. I normally eat more protein and less fried things. For vegetables, I mainly take in green veggies and put starch at the end to eat. If one wants to increase muscle and reduce fat, he has to focus on protein intake. In terms of the diet, we should take in more broccoli, baby corn, zucchini and spinach. Not only meat and eggs can replenish protein, but also vegetables. Let's hear what a nutritionist says. Every 100 grams of uncooked vegetables may contain about 1 gram of protein. Take a look at the high-protein vegetables, each with 100 grams as examples. Broccoli contains 3.7 gram protein, sweet potato leaves 3.2 gram, green asparagus 2.7 gram, red amaranth 2.6 gram, breadlock and spinach each containing 2.5 gram while sutili and baby corn both contain 2.2 grams of protein. Protein can help our muscles grow, so for someone who wants to gain muscle mass, we would suggest him to take in roughly 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. High-protein vegetables provide one with another option to supplement protein.
Master Zhenyan's end-of-year trip around Taiwan marched into the 30th day. She's now at Xinjian Jingsi Hall for Taipei's end-of-year blessing ceremony. An 83-year-old volunteer and entrepreneur Yang Qingfu brought his wife Ou Jingran to visit Master. The couple has been city volunteers for more than 30 years. Although Ms. Ou now suffers from brain deterioration, she still remembers Sizi very clearly. Wanghua, Jilong and Xizi District volunteers come together for a year and blessing ceremony. Volunteer Chen Meiyuan spent six years to finally fulfill her Cixi Honorary Board member wish. She leads people into donating into the Bamboo Coin Bank, and while she works in the tourism industry, she will always spare time to do Cixi work. I talk about how visits and bomb mineral donation event. It's important to love the earth and to be selfish in giving. If we use this attitude and talk to others, they won't review it and we'll have a good response. The performances must undergo multiple rehearsals as volunteers display organized movements in a sincere performing attitude. At the venue, the flower arrangements and bonsai are made possible by a visiting volunteer. Bring his wife in a wheelchair to the ceremony. Last year, Yang Qingfu's wife suffered serious brain function deterioration as she lost the ability to communicate. However, she still remembers Cixi people and events clearly. I joined Cixi alongside my wife. She has been doing Cixi with dedication and once she's here, she feels happy. Married for 54 years, the couple walked on the Ziji path together for over 30 years. As people gathered to perform for Master Zhen Yan, everyone vowed to walk on the Bodhisattva's path. Chasing dreams is not only possible for young people. Today we are going to meet two grand riders, elderlies that follow their hearts and are living their lives to the fullest. Zhang Cai Meixia realized a dream from her teenage years at the age of 70, and Lin Jiazhong is participating in nine clubs and loves spending time with young people. The Marigold Hotel is full up. So we the movie Marigold Hotel Jane focuses on the elderly. How many new lives can we have? As many as we like. Die here. When I can die there. It proves the adage that age is just a number, and it cannot stop us if we are determined to pursue our dreams. If you think that this is just the plot of a comedic movie, then maybe you should watch a real documentary made in Taiwan. One of the things elderly people fear most is boredom. At the beginning, I wanted to organize this activity so that they can be active while aging. 
if the elderly have something to do, life will be more glorious. Riding a scooter around the island was a dream for this person since youth. Around the 1960s or so, when I was a senior vocational school student, classmates were thinking about riding around the island. We felt too physically weak to do it at that time, and later we became separated. Due to her work, she may have to choose something that weighed against her interests or the desire to realize her future dreams. The Grand Rider's appeal allows her to discover what she wants to achieve most in her heart. The hard work of achieving her dream is also a personal challenge. Zhang Tai Mei Xia in her 70s must get a scooter driver's license. The first time I went over the line, and also the second time. The third time I also failed. I had to practice because I couldn't stand myself if I didn't report to the group. So I did a test many times because I could not fail in the pursuit of my dream. Because this elderly person has a goal which is not immediately achievable to her, makes her use some effort to achieve it. I think the hard work will lead to the lasting memory for her, and her life will be more brilliant. In order to make aging a positive experience, the World Health Organization defines the concept of active aging, which should optimize health, participation, and safety. Among these areas is the best in promoting a lively spirit. Wait for the memory part of the exam. I'm about to start. Traffic lights, scooters, knives, gravel. I will take one, and you can draw the clock for me at 8.20. When doing this memory test, when you're 75 years old, you won't be nervous anymore. This set of tests is ours, and we have received training from the Department of Motor Vehicles. According to statistics, there are 360,000 traffic accidents each year, of which 31 percent, or more than 116,000 people, are classified as involving the elderly. If you are over 75 years old, you must pass a health check and a cognitive test before you can be issued a three-year driver's license. Thus, if you are aged 75, 78, 81, and so on, you will need to be tested every three years. The safety of the Grand Riders is very important. We went to Qixingtan to do a beach cleaning activity, and we did beach cleaning with Ziji University students. Riding around the island is just one of many things that 76-year-old Lin Zhazhong does, as he also participates in nine different social groups. Today, I'm the oldest person here. I like to be with young people very much, as it makes me feel mentally younger. If your heart is still pumping, we should hurry up and act. For example, if you want to learn Japanese, you can overcome all difficulties and online courses are helpful and never missed. This is the online Japanese teaching lesson. This is our teacher. If you have something to do, you are less likely to think about things and won't be bored. We hope that we can appeal to more elders to leave their house and go out. Setting a goal for yourself means that one can use a little effort and gradually advance toward the opportunity of a beautiful life. Studying at Kaohsiung's Gangshan Elementary School, student Chen received Tzidi's new shoot scholarship. At two years old, her mother went to jail. She and her younger brother was taken into care by their grandmother. Tzidi volunteers assisted the family through all the difficulties and are still supporting them after the mother has been discharged from prison. The thankfulness from family Chen and the grandmother to volunteers is endless. I had a heart surgery, and because I had aortic dissection two times, 
When I got sick, so the sisters came to care for me and took care of these two children. They contacted the social affairs bureau. The social workers came after and brought the children into host families. They took care of them well, and I'm very grateful. When Mother Chen was framed and sent to jail, the sister was only two years old, while her brother just turned one month. Yet the family was separated between bars. From imprisonment to coming back here, my mother supported me a lot. Yes, and I look forward to seeing my children one time per two weeks. I want to see them safe and sound. Yes. Just entering grade one, seven-year-old student Chen receives the Ciji New Shoot Scholarship Award this year, as she is a student who studies hard. Growing up in a single-parent family, both children never complained. When the children enter every grade or take exams, or during the pandemic, so the sisters always cared and asked us if we have enough device at home. I'm thankful to them. Yes, so the volunteers never stopped bringing care to us. After returning to her family, Mother Chen is now servicing seniors with dementia as the education of love spreads among three generations. The Chen family learned to cherish every moment in their life. In Taichung, a 55-year-old male suddenly felt a lack of strength in his right limbs. It was first wrongly diagnosed as a minor stroke. With no signs of recovery after physical rehabilitation, he sought further medical advice from Taichung City Hospital. The patient is now on his way to a healthy recovery following a successful surgery to remove a spinal cord tumor. In Taichung, a truck driver often goes out to work supporting his family by himself. One day, he experienced a lack of strength on his right limb and was diagnosed with a minor stroke by a doctor. Though after a month, his condition didn't improve. Thus, he went to Taichung Ziji Hospital to seek help. Inside the cervical spine, if the tumor is slanted to one side, when it grows bigger, the tumor will pressure onto the nerves on that side, causing the limb to lack strength. If doctors do not take a closer look at this, they might treat this as a case of minor stroke. After a careful checkup, the doctor at Taichung Zizi Hospital confirmed a tumor on the patient. The tumor has the size of three centimeters, lays across the spinal cord, and is close to the nerve. The yellow part is the spinal nerve, and the pen here is like the tumor pressuring on top of it. The tumor at the inospinal cord is a rare case amongst all spinal disease cases, as it is often ignored. Though the patient has a benign tumor, the surgery involves nearby spinal nerves, increasing the surgical risk. Through using a navigation and microscope system along with intraoperative nerve monitor, we successfully removed the tumor. There were no further sequelae or complications. As the medical team discovered the tumor and removed it successfully, the patient felt strength in his right limb once more. He is now recovering and getting back on track in life. My Malaysia Awards celebrated the humanitarian contributions by many sectors of the society during the pandemic. City Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter is one of the award winners. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.